Hello, hello, this is Pat from Petresca Papers. No, I have not fallen off the face of the earth. I just took some time through Christmas, but it is New Year's Eve day and I need to get busy. I don't know how you feel, but I hope that you will come along with me on this journey. So what I am going to do is I'm going to create a journal just for January. And I know there are a lot of other uh, YouTubers and creators that are doing January dailies. And I guess that's kind of what this is. But I what I want it to be is an exercise in journaling. My friend Gladys posted something on Facebook about how do I get in to that? Well, she didn't really say habit. I said habit. How do I motivate myself to journal? We all start out really, really gung-ho. We're going to do this. So I'm right along there with you, Gladys, and I hope you'll watch this. And I hope everybody else that watches it, I hope you can glean something from it. I will be posting some freebies on my Petresca Papers group on Facebook. One of them will be a January 2023 calendar. And also some prompts for January 2023. So my thought is this will become like the first page or the first yeah the first page in our signature then that will be an inside and then this will be on the back and I've got I think I've got more than 31 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 I've got 36 prompts and the thought with the prompts is that you for instance, if you pick strength, ponder strength. What does strength mean in your life? Are you feeling strong right now? Are you feeling that you need strength in your life? Kind of ponder that before you start writing and then write not a dissertation, just, you know, right now I am not feeling so strong. Christmas wiped me out. Um, I'm not sure I'm ready to go into 2023. And then maybe discover or research. I don't think I mean research. But look at some resources that there are around there that will help make you strong. This is longer than your booklet will be. So I've put them at the top so you can cut those off and make pockets out of them. But... I'm going to use the format of my little houses. And I'm combining, these are, by the way, as I put these away, these will be my signature pages. But I'm going to combine Black Friday little houses, my home sweet homes, Black Friday houses, and the Golden Glitz kit. Those are available as a digital kit on my Etsy shop, Petresca Papers. I will link them down below. And I decided to combine the two. And with it being a new year, um, I thought of a bunch of different colors. And I thought about bringing out a new kit. I've got some other new kits kind of on the back burner. But I thought I would use um, Golden Glitz and Black Friday. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make my cover first, like I usually do. And I, I'm thinking, oh, it's in here. I'm thinking I'm going to do a double signature, two signatures. So I'm, I think a quarter inch is just fine. So all of a sudden I'm just like, I don't even remember how to do this. I am having a moment. So eight and a half. All right, eight and a half is four and a quarter. So I think this is what I do. I don't know. 
four and four and a half. Man, I hope that's it. Yeah, it looks like it, I think. So it gives me a quarter inch spine. Yeah, looks like I did right. All right, so we've got that. So that gives me my guidance as to where I'm going to build my house. All right. And I think just to keep things going good, I think I'm going to do some distressing. And I think instead of brown, I'm going to use black. Let me change that out. Since we've got the black papers. And I may do a little gold. Wow, hickory smoke. Oh, that's not my black. That's okay, we'll use hickory smoke because it's pretty dark. So I am, I'm not sure where I'm stopping and starting yet, so I'm just going to do all of it. All right. So here we go. Here is the front of my house. And I'm not going to forget to do a chimney. I usually forget, but I think... I'll use some of this from the, the Black Friday to make my chimney. And that will go there with that. Okay, all right, let's do a little distressing on you. Probably would have been good to do some gold, but all right. Uh, this is where my house will be, I think. This is where I usually fall flat. This is where that comes to. So I think I'll put this a little bit lower. Let's see, how is that gonna work with that? Have I got it right? I do, I have it right. Let's see. Pull this up a little so it has, there we go, right like that. Okay, and that's where I'm going to put my mark there. And let's go ahead and let's glue it down. I haven't used glue for a week. Can you even imagine? I'm having a hard time remembering what to do here. So, chit chat, I hope you all had a peaceful Christmas. I know that some of you were alone, which in some ways gives you a peaceful Christmas for sure, but it also can be a very lonely Christmas, and I, I'm so sorry if you were alone at Christmas. We... Um, my husband and I, we traveled to Utah and boy, our Christmas was just like chopped up. We saw, I have six children. I uh, saw five of them over Christmas or over December. I saw one in, De in November. So pretty much saw most of them in December. Um, but not all together. We did have a a dinner with the grown grown ups in Utah, which was lovely. And then, but then we saw everybody separately. That's this way. All right, all right. Let's get that glued on. Um, Christmas. I don't know. It can be such a joyful thing, but then again, it can wear you out or it can stress you out. So I'm kind of excited to go into a new year. Um, and at the same time with that excitement, I think that's the right way. 
whoever designed this, they should have made it clearer which way was which. I think it's that. I think it's that. If it's not, it's going to be now. Is it? I don't know. No, it's this. It's this. <laughs> Just work with it till you get it right, Pat. All right. I plan to put some trim on here, but I'm not going to do that because that's something simple enough that you're able to do. I am going to now cut my roof. And when you're doing this, you want to make sure that your spine is straight or straight-ish anyway. And cut up there and cut over there because it's easier to cut after I do that. I'm going to cut down into there. And now what? Cut down there. Let's cut across there like that. And then I'll open it up and finish the cut. Okay. All right. And this, I'm going to trim that little bit of white off there. And just a little bit of the gray along there. Okay. And I think put some gold up along there. Right along there. And I think we'll do a little gold on that black there. And then a little more of the gray down this side. Okay. So that will be my house. I'm going to I will go ahead and I'm going to put on what I am decorating with. This I will put on another full sheet probably of what am I going to put on it? Probably this gold. And I'll try to do that before we're done. But I'm going to put this door on. And I have distressed most everybody, I think. Let's just let's get some glue on this. I'm keeping it simple because I don't want my video to run terribly long. And I think you all... can figure it out just by looking at it if you buy one of the kits. Now, you may not even have any of the kits and want to just utilize the freebies that I have on my Facebook group, and that's great. That's what they're there for, is to be utilized. But the houses are really a lot of fun, and you know, I, I hope I haven't worn the houses out, but we'll find out. We'll find out. I do have a few more styles that I want to work on. Okay, I thought I would just do one big window there. And I want to do a butterfly. The butterfly is from the black... The Black Friday kit. And, you know, butterflies just symbolize change and metamorphosis and uh, growth. So I thought I would put a butterfly on my house. Not that a butterfly is going to be anywhere around in January. Well, depends on where you are. It could. There could be. But they also signify the hope of a nice season to come in spring. Okay, 
Let's see, can I get my glue to come out? It's been out here, it's probably frozen. Oh, come on, come on. And I had a nice big paper clip here. There it is. All right. Oh, I feel it at the very bottom. All right, let's see now, can we do it? Oh, come on, come on. Well, you're not playing nice with me. I'll have to do something about that. Let's see, have I got this one? I think I can get some out of this one. Oh my goodness. You know, there's, there's something called prep <laughs> before you start your video that I did not do. Okay, we got some glue. I don't think we want all of that. Okay, paper towel. I'm gonna give him some dimension because I don't anticipate this being in my purse. So it will be at home, okay? All right, that's cute, that's cute some trim across here. I don't have anything right here right now. We'll have to see what we can find. All right, so inside, and I'm seeing, I didn't trim off all my white edges, but we're gonna let them stay. Just do a little bit along there. And you know, remember I cut that front? I did not cut the back, so I need to trim just a smidge off the back. All right, shall we get this gold on? I think we will. Let's get it glued on. Let's see. We will, let's cut this off the bottom. And let's flip it over here. Let's put our glue stick on here. And I think I'll put some trim down this white, very white, white spine when I'm all done sewing in my signatures. Okay, let's see. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Is that it? Oh. I'm having a moment here, folks. Let's see. Is that tall enough? No. I think it was this that I was doing, wasn't it? Yes. I'll trim it off down there if I'm a little long. Okay. And let's get the bone folder. Make sure that glue is spread out. And then let's cut. And I am I'm gonna start 23 out with some travel. Um, not not Far flung travel, and the scary thing is, I've got some of my travel could be on Southwest, which kind of scares me with everything Southwest has been dealing with. But I do also have a backup plan. Okay, so there's my inside. Ooh, and it looks like so that I know where it is. Is some distress ink would be good to have along there so now I can see where my spine is on the inside all right now this let I'm gonna put together my at least one of my signatures so my plan is that this will be my first page the first page of my signature and I think that I'm going to keep it a bit longer so that I can just turn it up and make a pocket now 
this is longer and I think I'll cut that down how far do I want to cut it down let's make a little mark here and I'm just gonna cut it with my scissors and let's see how straight I can be or crooked all right like that okay and let's fold this up you know what I'm gonna cut that white off And let's see. I want it to go, I think, do I want it the height of the chimney or higher? I think I want it the height of the chimney. So I will fold there. Don't you love how exacting I am? All right, so this is the first and last page of my first signature and I don't mind that the Y is poking out there all right and then let's see I think I'll fold these I think I'll do five pages And that white is going to have to go. So what have I got? One, two, three, four, five. Actually, I'm going to go for six with my January calendar, which is printed on a... Oh, I, don't, I can't remember what the color is. I will look it up. It wasn't a very expensive paper. It's just basically copy paper that's got a color. And it is wider than what we're doing, but I'll fold it in on itself. So let's see here. Oh, let's cut the whites. Let's cut off the white. I don't know how long I'm going to keep you guys. Whoa. I could get my trimmer out, couldn't I? Oh, but this is so much more fun. Some of these will just be the size of the page, but I think a couple of them will have pockets. Um, what I'm planning to do, I'm going to journal. I'm also going to add some photos. just small ones and quotes and different things like that. Let's get this out of the way. Oh, I didn't finish telling you. So I am going to go to a wedding in Salt Lake City and then I'm going to go onward to see my friend Tracy. We were supposed to have a get together back in November and I got sick and things just didn't pan out right. So, all right, let's do this one. And that one has a pocket already. So let's just cut you. Ooh, see, I can just see that me doing that, I'll cut that. Let's just make a little tick here. Let's cut that and I'm gonna use this little piece I'm cutting off and I'll I'll trim up everything after all right let's make this one a fold wow look inside there well we'll be trimming that off anyway let's fold this up here fold it over all right We'll just keep it up there. We can trim that like that. Okay. And let's come in here and let's just do 
This one, the size of the page. And we'll fold this one. Let's go this way. Let's fold this one up like that. We'll go there. Have those folds on the outside. Let's trim there. And the calendar lastly because then it will be able to be viewed in total okay and let's see here what have we got do i need to trim more off of that top i think i do let's trim along there and again i will have these on my facebook group in the files this will be there and also the first page of the signature with the prompts on the back. All right. So. And I don't think, do I mind those being odd sizes? I don't know. Do I? I think I do. I think let's cut you both. I'm going to trim you down, and if it's a little smaller, that's okay. All right. And then the calendar. Okay, yeah, that's better. So that will go in here like that. We'll trim that off, and then the calendar will get folded back on itself. All right. Oh, it's sticking up a little bit the chimney, but I'm not sure I'm worried about that. So, what I will do is make my holes. Let's do that now. It's feeling this back here, but I'm not going to worry about it because I think I'm going to bring some lace or something around that. So let's do this. Let's get the ruler. And I'm going to do a three pamphlet stitch. Let's see. Let's come over here. Man, I'm having a hard time seeing. Let's see. I don't want that because that's middle. So come back right there. My pencil. You're buried. Okay. So I'm going to do, since I plan to cover this up, I'm just going to make my line and then come around here and make my other one and I'm gonna put holes there holes there and I'm just gonna figure that that's middle let's make the holes with my all this is a piece of styrofoam that came out of some packing and I'll just make my hole there, and there, and there, and there, and there, and there. And then to make the holes in my booklet, or in my signature, I'm just going to lay that to the side, put a tick mark there and there. And there, and let's hope this is going to work. And then I'm just going to, yeah, let's see if we can make this work. Oh, I remember what I did. That's right. All right. 
Let's scratch that for a second. I'm going to put a clip on the top, front and back. Then I'm going to turn it inside out so I can get those holes where I want them. Oh, come on, fold, fold, fold. Do you know what? It occurs to me, this is the only one I need to make sure is right. Right? Because then the others will all just follow along. All right, so let's just... We want it there, we want it there, and we want it there. Now, back together. Let's see. Let's see how this thought process works. Okay. Uh, and I still should clip it, but I'm not going to. I'm going to push through on each of those marks. And not too hard, not too hard. Come on, Pat. This is going through a couple more layers. Okay, good. And then I think I will put a clip right there to keep them from going too rogue. Okay, let's get our, I got a needle here. You know what? That looks like just about the right amount of thread. And let's find a needle. Okay. And, whoa, you're a big one. I don't want you. I don't want you. You're too big. I think I've got my favorite needle in the house. There's there's a good one. I usually like to have a blunt needle. These are all my pointy ones. So we're going to have to be careful and not skewer ourselves. All right. So I am going to have my threads inside. And since this is the first one, I want to make sure it's going down the first line. <laughs> Isn't that funny? No. We're going here first. Signatures go on the inside. Okay. I'm going to pull that. Hold that. And let's make sure these guys are lining up. There and there. Push that through there. Lovely. Okay. All the way to the bottom. Let's see if we can get all of you lined up with that front hole, not the back hole. Down here. Let's get some more thread. I could have been shy on that thread. I think I actually can tighten this just a wee bit. Okay, and then in through there. If I can, come on. Where are you? Bad thing with the sharp needle is that it wants to separate the thread. I don't want to separate the thread. Are you going to come through? Yeah. No. Come on. Go through the hole. Don't make a new hole. Okay, there we go. That's the problem with this sharp needle. It can make its own new hole. Okay. And straddle that center string and pull it. I do left over right, right over left, but either way works. And turn that off. And 
And I should have my first signature. And then let's see, we're going to fold January in like that. And like that. And then we'll might even fold you in a little instead of cutting you off. All right. And this one. You know what? I don't think it bothers me. I think I'm going to keep it like that. And then I will create my other signature that will go there. I will find me a pen and start to journal. Let me just show you what I'm planning on that spine. So, oh, I do have, I do have some. Should we do black and white? I kind of like that. But I think you're a little wide. About that. I think these are all wider ribbons. Ooh, ooh, ooh. This is some. I bought a wedding dress and I tore it up. I know. Destructive. But I think that would be kind of a nice binding. I think I'll use that. I'm going to glue that on. Um, I will tack on to this video a, uh, a picture of what, not a picture, but I'll, I'll flip through it when I've got it done so that you can see. Ooh, I like that. Okay. All right. I'm going to sign off for now, but I'll come back on just to show you everything finished. I will post in the comments below the links to my Petresca Papers Etsy shop. And if you would like to, go and look at my digital kits. I also will post the Petresca Paper Facebook page. And I'll see if I can't come up with the color of that paper. Because I love it. I don't have to. Pardon me. I don't have to worry about tea staining it, and it's good. All right. Hey, thank you, guys. It's good to be back. Talk to you later. Bye-bye. Okay. I am back again. I finished up the spine. I decided to go with the ribbon. It was just a little bit less than that quarter inch. Fixed that on the back. In, oh, I didn't put my trim on. Let's see, where did the trim go? Put it back in here. Add that little piece of gold trim. Oh, for Pete's sakes. All right. Well, it isn't done. I'll have to finish that up. No, I want that gold. I'll have to find it. Anyway, I'll have the gold trim on here, and I may put some around the door, not sure. But inside I put some pockets that can hold tickets or things like that. There's my January. I will be gluing this closed, so that'll be a pocket. I folded that, and I'll glue that, and that can be a little tuck spot glue those. That can be a tuck spot. This will get glued with a tuck spot. And then there's my calendar. And again, those will be the tuck spots. And then here's my second, second signature. And I don't think I'm going to glue that because that can be a little tuck spot by itself, but I'll glue along there. And then I've got some music paper and one of the cutoffs, off cuts from the front. And then I put in a puzzle page. And then again there at the back. So I am ready for tomorrow. And...
again on the back of that first signature, I've got my prompts. So what I choose tomorrow, I'm not sure. And then I will cross off as I go through them. All right. Hey, thank you guys. Hope to see you in the new year. A couple of days in. Hey, take care. Bye-bye.